peace, peace, peace. It is an honor uh, to be amongst uh, these glorious words, Miss Miss uh, Miss Gerta um, Gerda. Sorry if I. That was awesome. That was beautiful. That was beautiful, and it was like right now and the range of it that was awesome that was awesome i appreciated it all right cool um yes my name is judah one i'm the inaugural pool lawyer of pomona california i'm going to try not to take too much of your time up um as i present um you know some of this poetry um i also teach for the prison education project so from 2011 uh, to 2015, then I stopped, and this year I picked up again, but I used to teach in Chino Men's Prison, Chino Women's Prison, the Norco Rehabilitation Center for Men, um, and Camp Glen Rocky Detention Camp for Boys, currently at Riverside YTEC Juvenile, uh, but this poem I'm about to read you is from um, 2012, um, Camp Glen Rocky Detention Camp for Boys, I did the summer with them, and uh, at the midway, maybe toward the end of the summer, they said, hey, Judah, You've been teaching us a lot of poetry and we've been showing and sharing a lot. Can you write something for us before this is over? I said, sure, if I write something though, if I write something for you, you're gonna cry. They said, man, we're not gonna cry. I was like, all right, you're gonna cry. Here we go. They cried, I cried, we cried. Sometimes I still cry. It's been uh, almost 10 years later. Um, here we go. <clears throat> it's called They Boys. You guys hear me good? All right, excellent. <clears throat> They boys, they play fighting slab box, use foul language, tell mama jokes, get defensive when they go too far. Them boys, they often go too far, trying to prove themselves as men that they aren't yet. Sex self-educated, single parent raised, they boys, often on the same wrong road as their brothers. Mothers cry for them, so they are here. Far from home and freedom, freedom got them detained. No one restrained them boys, so they're here. Teaching me about the hood we escaped from. I gave my mother something extra on Mother's Day in memory of these boys I teach, trying to reach and extract them. Their mentality reaches my tear ducts. Faces feature in my prayers. They just boys like I was once. I hope they become better men than I am now. Teaching poetry is often halted when I question, why are you here? How long? How does this feel? Bars can't hold their dreams. I give them paper, teach them to write. Others, how to spell simple words. No, girl is spelled with an I, not a U. Some too gangster to ask or write a motion, so they draw. I wonder if they draw what they hear. If that is the case, I hope they are listening. I got a story to tell, not just a lesson to teach. Not a preacher, but this is spiritual. Parables, divinity and hood abstracts. Them boys asked me to write about them. I didn't know where to start. Now I don't know where to end. See, I teach poetry at a detention camp for boys. Twice a week I see them, happy to see them smiling, at least when I come, sad to see them smiling, hear them joking about doing the same thing that got them boys here when they get out. Really, I'm just sad and I see them at all. Bars are not the place of boys or animals. One of the boys said they are animals. I refuted him, saddened that I even had to. I leave them tired because I care more. I wish we had more time. I wish they had no time. They boys. All right. <clears throat> That's my first poem. Warming up, warming up. Actually, not warming up. I just got done. I just uh, tuned in right now. I just got done teaching my last uh, class of seven, seven week uh, class for the Prison Education Project for the Riverside y, uh, YTEC. First one on Zoom. A uh, lot, lot harder uh, teaching on Zoom, uh, teaching poetry in, in that capacity, because like, uh, Sometimes they want to be there, sometimes they don't. Um, and you know, it's already an, oppress an oppressive environment. And so to get them opening up, I like to like radiate a little more and they feel me, but we did a good job. Anyway, here we go. I wrote a couple of these poems are current, a couple of these poems are old. They're new to you, I think. I am the alignment of several stars, a few planets too. The grossest part of my light body I am made to matter in this time and until my time decay I let these words spray circumspectfully and carefully is what that means these tones tiptoe in silence first I am I am in stride of several steps taken few witnessed I am wrapped in the whirlwind of whispers echoed and whiplash I am seldom heard and as so seen Paradoxically, I am in a coat of many colors. I have been in my prison into the place of God. Fear not, I tell my brothers in the squad, they know that I am the dreamer, that I am the speaker of, as I am the conduit in this reality. 
I am father, I am son, I am middle child, I am my medium when I am in the mood, I am my best, most true and radiant self when I hit my mold and interlock my gears, I am pre dawn prayers, I am 100 miles and running, I am unlocking higher levels even on lockdown. When I was down, I learned projection in the dark, I learned several seals for my protection, thus the stronger radiation of the greater I am in me, I am the manifest of my will to be, and to the glory of, I am in favor, and to the honor of, I am counted amongst the good as a mercy and to the power of, I submit. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I shall read um, this poem I wrote uh, uh, at the uh, behest and request of Prim A.M.E. Pomona. Um, I'm not a member there. I'm not a member of any church, but I go there. I've been going there for 10, 12 years, on and off. I love them. They love me back. Um, so how their church works, like everybody, four or five years, they get an incoming pastor. So every four or five years, they've been asking me um, to kind of usher in the pastor and usher out the pastor with the poem. So this is uh, the last one that I did for uh, Dr. Betty Hannah Witherspoon um, and when she was leaving. She was good. Here we go. <clears throat> through transition, through transition and traversing terrain, through tra through transition and traversing terrain, there too is transformation. We too are changed by each step and strengthened. We remember and recall the call and many voices that pulled and pressed us into the best parts of ourselves. It was there and deeply we found ourselves next to him and the stillness within. We learned through silence what application of concepts can be, how these scriptures structure into a living science before us and after us still, if he tarry until he say so. Over time, some broke some over time we broke down, some burned off, some sorrows drowned, some scabs soothed into scars. And through these stages, we come closer to singularity with the one and resurrect the, and resurrect ourselves in him. And with all mind in Christ consciousness, we are molded by the master to be masters and craftsmen ourselves, each building and building upon the square, which is still for. And by building and continuing, we create culture to freedom and equality and, rele and releasing ourselves into the flow of things. And thereby, we also are refined. She goes where the divine is, where the bread comes grow, where the letters are sent to, to make sure the message is received and the intent impressed in her heart from her king, a sojourner of the truth, and indelible laws, and indelible laws of the cause behind her every effect. And as every long road leads to rest, sometimes at best we do what is best in the moment. May you even now begin to have even more blessed moments and reflection learned over time and express moments of exhale and decompression. May you, may you enjoy your family and your time. May you find your ecstasy of your Lord sublime. May you refine your movement and rest. May you find a new prime after print. Cool. I know I got 15. I'm pretty good on time, I know it. All right, I wrote this poem this year in the spirit of Sankofa and the spirit of uh, Black Lives Matter in the spirit of quite a few things. Um, along with that, let me not, because this is important too. So along with the Black Lives Matter movement and all that stuff that happened last year, uh, our Mayor Tim Sandoval, he had the foresight to see, hey, there are no Black City Council members here. I'm not Black, this, I'm Latino, our city is majorly Latino, but we have um, a large um, Black community here that is um, neglected, that has not had a voice that has not had advocates. So we asked about 15 um, African-American leaders, black leaders, I'm a part of them. Anyway, we became the African-American Advisory Alliance of Pomona. Uh, we just acquired a 6,000 square foot building for a new community space in downtown Pomona in our colony. We'll be opening up very soon. Um, and that is gonna be a resource center for specifically the black residents of the Pomona Valley. I think that's important. Here's this poem. The work is way more than poetry. The poetry is the door for the work. Here we go. We still black and achieving. We still black and moving. We still black and empowering within. We still black and believing. We still black and knowing that history is to be studied. It's not over, that black history is still in the making, 
that there have been many remakings and remarkings and remarks and red marks on maps that keep us out of homes, positions and positioning. We still black and positioning. We still black and remembering. Sand Colfer and forward thinking. We still black history in the making of and in ourselves, many firsts again. Innovations and inaugurations spawned from self and creations and imaginations made manifest. We still black in evidence of solar power and magic is movement. We still black and moving through. We still black and waiting through these waters, through these times of trouble. We still find peace somehow through these struggles or seek the understanding of constantly coming back to the truth that our story is not over, that black history is still in our making. Our history is making ourselves into who we want to be or need to be out of necessity or faith, often both. Some parents call us hope for the future who are still our, for the, some parents call it hope for the children who are still our future now and black like we still and forever will be one with darkness, deep space and thick waters, black holes, thick Black holes, dark stars, and the origin of every light and spectral cube. Some black light purple, some black light blue, some dark and red, some tan and sand. It's time and again for the wise woman and strong man to plan and come together and stay together and multiply and not again be divided by internal fears or external struggles. Once we climb by step, now we climb by tears. Historically, ours is the technology of ancient engineers and alchemy without a peer. Chemically complex DNA providing antidotes and anti-venom and antivirus or the serum. With minds, with minds on mathematics, we calculate the ETA on GPS and Haney's truce on the internet. We had a World Wide Web once. Uh, we had a World Wide Web before and Akasha Records connected us to each other and ancestors by the air, by the water and all frequencies that move. We still black and catch of these currents. We still black and set in trend in this current we move through this world as waves becoming particles of light when not observed we black again all right can i read one more all right cool it's you know covid kind of snatched away my whole laureate shit they gave me an extended year and uh i plan to just blow it all the way up i have to um i wrote this poem we're all seasoned people, you guys, you know, seasoned, seasoned than me, more, more, more seasoned. You guys remember uh, uh, the war in Iraq uh, and why we went there and all the um, lies that got us there. This poem is about that. It's called Double Negative. Um, I called it Double Negative. I was listening to a rapper named Aesop Rock, one of my favorites, very intelligent, very, very intelligent, good writer. Um, he has a, a line in one of his songs called, I double the negative to no avail. And I was like, wow, that is such an ill concept. And so this poem, Double Negative, is about America's uh, love and lust for war. Blood lust. So here we go. <clears throat> I search for your heart like WMDs in Iraq. I mean, I had to give those who supported me reason to be there. I listened to the allies I had, forged in my own head they convinced me of the fact that there was something in you worth fighting for, packed on a precipice. Perhaps I listened to the crowd. Too much reality, there was no crowd. The allies always say what I imagine, projected on a screen that I call eyes. The weapon of mass destruction is synonymous with the love that I so desperately wanted to find in the echoes of you, to give my members, my limbs, a reason to be outstretched like they are a rally, a search for ghosts, but I am no ghostbuster. And at the end of the day, there was no Indian in the cupboard, just a cowboy and a manifest destiny for self-destruction or maybe just destruction as I looked in you for something you told me up front you didn't have. I wore out your welcome. I wore out my welcome after banishing your demon. Hung your dictator, ripped the new one in you, manipulated when you wouldn't love my gloves, a bloody black. My intentions are blurred, remove my coverings and I'll blame it on intelligence that I've received falsely. Maybe I should have carried the one. I dotted that lone eye, crossed my T. I've been crossing you for too long. I've desired you for so long. I've desired the gold buried beneath your desert, created my own mirage and called it by your name. I didn't plan correctly. Your sands jammed my machinery. I came. 
Gave myself no timetable to get out if I couldn't subdue your resistance too numerous, or perhaps I didn't commit as much as I told my members, my limbs outstretched for so long the danger of becoming an emotional amputee grows with each battle. I mean, I ought not be here. Came to you with visions now, my dreams of bloody black. I imagine coming home and finally laying into a hug from my mother with no way to hold her back. My arms, my limbs, I mean, my members were lost in the moments of the ambush next to the mirage at the beginning of the day. You told me you couldn't commit to me. Overzealous as I often am, I compensated over committing to you. I will make you love me, or at least write it like I believe. Rehearse my own words until I can convince others when I say it, tainted love. I am prostrate, facing east, lapping up spilled oil from the depths of the gulf of me, cause here, remorse tastes like I knew better, you knew better. We always seem to know better. We never seem to do better. We promise to do better with our first love, second wife, but it, ah, first love, second wife, but it fails, but ah, first love, second wife, but forget when our smart bombs fail and the strife replays in Afghanistan. Sorry, I got lost in the end there. All right, cool. I'm doing my outro. I've been doing this for 13 years. I've been running my poetry venue. When COVID's over, please visit us. Uh, we've been running for 13 years. Uh, we're in Pomona downtown. We are now currently at the Fairplex. We are, you know, the official official. Um, we have, uh, if you have children, you can bring them. Don't worry about the content. We have a studio that's in the back of the Miller Cheats, and we have an artist provided to give them an art workshop. It's all free. The first half of the night is for families. The second, the second half of the night at break, take the kids home. And now we're gonna say some some realer poems, okay? But we've been running for 13 years. We're called Lion Like Mind State. Um, that's our four year anniversary painting. I got 13 of those around the house. <laughs> um, uh, it's an art community. We have barbecues and stuff. We're a community. It's not just you know a poetry venue. Um, and yeah, I'm very honored and uh, pleased to be here. Um, what else? There's so much, so much to tell you guys, but I can't, uh, I know time is limited. Here's my outro. Yo, I'll fight any inanimate object and win every battle. I'm not even from the projects. Yo, did you hear about that Philadelphia project? They made a ship disappear for a couple seconds and the soldiers came home sick, sick, like the weight loss when that heartbreak gets. Get down and get on up, I'm black and I'm proud. And James Brown said it. It sounds like Bob Marley, Marcus Garvey, Holly. Barry can't keep a man, neither can the government. Meant to say something different for the sake of symphonics, but in the water transformers, I'm that auto antibiotic. King David be the namesake, so even on autopilot, I'm the anti. Goliath, stun a behemoth, cut the head off Leviathan. How can I do this? I eats me spinach, takes me vitamins, pay my times and my bills. No wonder why I'm blessed to get ill. Still at it after depression kicks in. I'm a microphone addict. Spit and be the remedy. Write and be the vaccine. I inoculate the audience till they sick like me. I got a line like mine state. Guys, it's been a blessing and an honor. I'm the poor lawyer of Pomona, California, two to one. Thank you very much.